Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and this is a whip video but it's also other things. So I've um, got a few things to show you, things that I've been working on um, and these. Now last year I did Santa sacks for Christmas from my shop hobbyrocks.co.uk and this is what they look like. This is what the normal Santa sack looks like but this one is a little bit different because this is one that is a 12 days of Christmas Advent Santa sack. Sorry, I've got it the wrong way around. There we go, it's got a nice little bow um, on the front. So if I open this one, you'll see that inside are 12 individually wrapped little presents that are numbered for the 12 days of Christmas. So this one is different because the normal Santa sacks have very nice, lovely yarn in, whereas these ones have a very nice, lovely yarn, some exceptional yarn, and some very, very nice accessories, and can guarantee that the price you pay, the contents are more expensive than what's inside. So you get better value, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's the Santa sack, the large one. I've got some new designs coming as well. And this is the small one, if you haven't seen this one. This is, we do large Santa sacks, small Santa sacks, and the 12 days of Christmas. Now, I had to put some accessories in there because I can only really squeeze 10 or so balls of yarn in. And if they're wrapped, then they take up even more space. So at the moment, I've just got 12 days of Christmas, um, Santa Advent calendar sacks, whatever it is on there, you'll see them. But if you wanted one that was purely acrylic, I'm with, I don't know whether you can see them. I'm going to ask for your, your kind of advice here. I don't know whether to do two types. <clears throat> the normal one, acrylic one. Or if you want acrylic specifically and nothing else, to send me a message on the website because there is a thing there for contact us and it sends me a little email and you can say can you please make sure it's all acrylic so yeah with the um mystery boxes i do several different types i do acrylic i do high street i do mixed but i think sometimes people just see one and they order it so they maybe people are getting the acrylic that would wouldn't mind some merino or wouldn't mind some alpaca in there but um, they're obviously not getting it. I will blend. They're not. They're not getting all of those yarns that that they could get if they just choose the acrylic. So I've been in two minds whether to put one that is purely acrylic, twelve days of Christmas, or or just ask for it on, you know, specifically. Just say I'm putting in this order and I'd like it to be all acrylic, please. So I don't know which way is the best way to go around it. Okay, so that's those. Um, and I've been making, I've been making some stitch markers and some new, 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 new ones. Um, what have I done with those? I don't think this is them. Where did I put those? I didn't think I brought them in. What have I done with those? I have some that are large. Typical, really. I didn't bring them in. I must have put them away. But they're also... um in here, I think. I'm not sure uh, if there is one in here. Let me see. Um, I brought the wrong pack in. I brought this one in. Unless I just shoved them all in there. That is a possibility. I probably did. So we'll ignore that. I'll put them all in here. So this was an old watch box. <laughs> but it's... My old watch boxes I use for a variety of things. So I have been making stitch markers. I'm going to show them to you. I will be doing some whipping. But there are some large ones and they have these lever back. Um, and so what I thought I might do with these large ones, which that one's not quite so bad, but some of them are quite big. Um, I thought maybe I'll embellish the Santa sacks, you know, the 12 days of Christmas Santa sacks put one on the on the tie so we've got a santa face we've got reindeer I can't call him rudolph his nose is yellow 
and we all know that that's not Rudolph's nose but then I do ordinary ones and some of these are for Christmas as well so we have Christmas stocking these are ones that are gold some of them are gold some of them are silver um a sleigh it was sleigh you might be seeing the back there we go sleigh um we have gummy bears gummy bears two-tone oh look at that one pink and hot pink gummy bear or oh, a purple and pink gummy bear if you're watching one don't worry you won't get the pinky pink one and we got stars puffy stars um bells i think that is bells esmeralda not those bells obviously we got snowman these are gold ones again but if they've got this lever back um and they're big then i could put them on the santa sacks we've got a snowman's head just his head decapitated snowman we got a moon santa moon moon with a hat we got some Halloween ones. Look, we've got jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? There we are. They're cute. And more gummy bears. All different colour gummy bears. Um, I think it might help me. Put my specs on, you know. But these are cool. Now, why I like doing these is because, you know, it's easy to get, like, <laughs> your face explodes, but it's easy to get, like, um, mass produced stuff um, and people put mass produced stuff in and I do to a certain extent I give you um, gummies you know um, Haribo gummies I give you well known biscuits that are mass produced but something that's handmade is a little bit more special so there we've got little shamrocks or four leaf clovers we've got different colour stars we got like Santa hats and bells that one's got sparkly stones in it as well um another jack-o-lantern i've got loads of those that's what that was predominantly what i took out of the other pot now oh, there's a big pot of like jack-o-lanterns there's this one again quite big so that could go on a santa sack with more gummy bears all different colors we've got this one and an or oh, one's on the floor now let's get that in a minute orange one and we've got a gold Santa. Gold Santa. This is a nice Christmas tree. Unfortunately, those packs come all different. It's a nice big um, snowflake. A pink one. You don't get many pink snowflakes in the world. There's not enough pink snowflakes in the world. Christmas trees of all sorts of shapes and sizes. Another Santa hat. That's another one on a doodad. And so is this one done that one already we got colorful kitty cats colorful cats love a colorful cat and some people like the really small ones for when they're doing their amigurumis so we've got all different color hearts there's all different color hearts there's tons of them look there's a um bluey one there i've got black ones um another color cat black cat must be lucky well fluffy never has been although she's more brown these days more gummy bears i don't know what one fell on the floor we've got a stocking i was gonna call it a boot um no that was different snowman this is a nice christmas tree this one nice christmas tree i remember taking michael's see father christmas once and um big one so that would probably go on there stocking he said um what would you like for christmas young man and he said um i love a christmas tree please and he said what he said i just want a christmas tree and he said um, you can have a present as well and he went no 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 i just want a christmas tree and he said is that really all you want and he said yeah and he said you know if you had to choose a present though <laughs> what would you choose i think he said something like Scalex trick or something but 
was a, Santa was just like, no one has ever just like said that. They've always gone, I want this, I want that. But there's Mike. I want a Christmas tree, please. He just loved the Christmas tree so much. A nice big Christmas tree for dangling on the outside of the Santa sack. More colourful cats. Green one. We've got navy blue. Got kind of yellows and greens. What's this one? Another sleigh, I think, with Santa in it. We've got all different coloured green four-leaf clovers or shamrocks, whatever you want to call them. This is a nice one. It's cute. It's a wreath. Very nice. Not all in that particular batch. They're all different. So, and um, we have this guy, elf, I guess. A pink cat. Everybody has pink cats. And I think this is Rudolph. Yeah, there you go, Rudolph. Big red nose. That one. There's a couple of them. And heaven above knows. Can't make that out. Not with my um. Not too shiny and. Another Santa on a sleigh. There's two of them. Um, there's a couple of the parcels. All colourful ones. And there's all these stars of different colours. Orange and purple. There's green and there's turquoise. There's blue and pink. There is red and yellow. Puffy stars. There's a mitten. That is well cute. I like the mitten. Then there are candy canes, crossed candy canes. We've got a red cat and a white cat. We have a blue cat and a black cat. I'm motoring through these now. we got gold Christmas trees. Very nice. <coughs> got another gold snowman. And another gold one, another different coloured clover, and another cat that is purple, purple cat, that's obviously Juan's cat. We've got a black heart, that's mine, black heart. No, I've not got a black heart. We've got another snowman, and a red heart, and it's in your hearts. Pink heart. Pink heart, red heart. Nearly done. This is Christmas present in gold. We've got candy canes. We've got another little Christmas tree. And that one's stuck to my computer. It's obviously like um, the, what's they called? Oh, magnet. We've got loads of these. Loads of these. Sorry, I think she knows. we got more, another candy cane. What's this one? I think it's kind of a reindeer. Yeah, it's got legs. Must be a reindeer. Orange heart. What's that one? A white heart. Snowflake. Another different colour green. Clover. A different candy cane. Lots of candy canes. What's this? I was going to say, a very bright pink, a hot pink heart. We've got a little reindeer. We've got bells, Esmeralda. We've got more candy canes, I think, and the stars. Look at that. And that's it. That's all the ones I've got to show you, although there are some more. But I, that's I kind of did all those. And then I did all these jack-o'-lanterns because there were so many of them. And there's also... A reindeer in there that should be another one, so I'll put it in there. Well, actually, they can all go in there now. They're only I was only keeping them separate to show you guys. Now they can all go in one. There we go. Nice pot, ready to take out in the yarn van, and they'll be there when I pack my orders. So I want to get the specifically wanted to get the ones. Excuse me. Uh, specifically i needed to get the christmas ones done so i have brought myself in a cup of tea in my non-spilly cup it's going to be really hot ow <laughs> doesn't help if you smash your face on it mm. way too hot no you know when you like burns your tongue like that ah, ah. 
Okay, got water as well in a non-spilly. That won't cool down for ages. That's the only thing with those things. Anyway, so the whip I'm going to work on now is my new one. And this is squishy. It's um, I'm going to make a scarf and infinity scarf and a cow all with the same pattern and then do the tutorial. That's the plan. Um, and I need to get on with it. Or I'm going to forget um, how I make it. And we can't have that because that would just be silly. So let's move. You see my fat belly. <clears throat> let's move the camera down so you can pick up my whipping. So I have been a very busy since i got back from holiday well since i got back from holiday firstly i was ill which wasn't nice because that snotty man on the plane much lamented snotty man and then um we were catching up with everybody and harley's birthday and uh seeing people and last night we went out for a meal with gary's brothers because his uncle passed away and he left everybody a little bit of money. And so they went out for a meal for him, you know, to say uh, a little drink and send off for Uncle Lister. So that's that's what we did last night. And it was very nice. We went to Miller and Carter. Was that last night? So it's like everything is merging, merging into one. Days are merging. But, um, yeah, it was very nice. I drove home so Gary could have a drink. But I did have a mocktail. It was a very nice mocktail. But kind of rip-off price. But obviously it tasted like an adult drink, not kind of a, a soft drink. It was really nice. It was um, kind of like a, a porn star martini, but mock porn star martini. So I had the little, little shot of no secco <laughs> as well which that was it was more like a a flowery kind of lemonade it was really nice very very nice and then i had the actual cocktail itself mocktail which was beautiful i have to say i only had the one the rest of the time i was on the the diet coke pepsi coke whatever it was but yeah it was a very nice meal and um it there was it was lovely it was lot, lots of chat and fun um gary's brothers martin and melvin and their partners um martin's daughter yasmin and uh, martin's partner i have to say kira it's very alien to me but i have to say it uh it was her son as well samuel who was there and um yeah we had a good time really nice and i want to say it was last night but at the same time i'm starting to think was it night before <laughs> my days all merged into one i think they might be putting my fan on now i had to put the heating on um and now i need the fan to cool down a little bit can i turn it down a notch that's better so um yeah this is very 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 warm obviously it's ribbed and it is made with, I'll show you the yarn. I've only got this colour to show you. I've got grey and this. It's called Utopia Crafts Velvet Luxe. And my partner bought me this, I think. Gary bought me this. He bought me this brownie mink colour, which, was it for the same yarn? Perhaps not. Chenille Love, best chenille ever, this one. They all match, so I've got grey and um another another color in this one i bought these i think from a shop when i did my um it's rico chenille love uh this one and i'm struggling even in with the light on and with my glasses on to see this 100 gram ball it's on my um ball genie i've ordered some more of those guys Getting very low on them. 100% polyester, 110 metres. It is called, upside down, of course it is, uh, number 12. Um, and, oh, I burnt my tongue. It doesn't say that. But I have, you know, that like, you know, it doesn't feel good. 30 degree wash, that's all it says. It was £5.45. 
I paid for that, which is quite a lot when you consider. But it was in one of the shops in Maidstone. And it's this very soft, it's very nice. And then this one Gary got me. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. It's all these fibres. They're chenille, so they don't shed too much, but they're both chunky yarns. And this one is microfiber polyester, 100 grams by Utopia Crafts. And I've got a few colours in this. So what I figured I'd do is I'd just keep going. At the beginning, I was keeping a tally. So it's not always easy to see how many rows you've done on this stitch. But... Um, I was keeping a tally but I've given that up and I just thought I'd run the ball out and then I'll run the ball out and make it a few different colours and I'm either going to do that by the time I finish this one it will decide what I'm going to do it'll either be the cow I've got some more of that brand as well somewhere so yeah I'll either do this will either be the cow it'll be the infinity scarf but it won't be the scarf because it is not wide enough I don't think it might be but uh, yeah, I'll do the tutorial once I've finished it all anyway. I keep seeing a little sunshine there and I keep thinking, what is that on my neck? It's the sunshine. I think that's my Gary. Let's have a look, what's he want? I wasn't ignoring. Oh wow. Oops, that didn't come out at all how it was meant to. There we go. He's um, finished all his work and it's not in, not finished time yet. So I guess he's going to be bored. <laughs> There's not an awful lot of jobs that he can do where he is that once he's finished, he can get on with. So, um, you know, unfortunately, once he finishes, he just... Um, Gets a bit bored. He usually finds something to do in the end. But I do, uh, you know, it's horrible when you've finished your work and it's going to start messaging me. That didn't go right at the end there. I've done something wrong. And did I? I didn't miss a stitch. Okay, let's go back. Maybe I did. Maybe I missed that that one there. There we go. So yeah, this is nice yarn. Nice yarn to work with, I have to say. So another thing that I'm going to be doing as I it's nice but not for the nose, I have to say. It's basically just me this happens to, I think. But um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, another thing I'm going to do in my shop. Um, as you know, I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, sacks. I'm doing the normal Santa sacks, the big ones and the small ones. Maybe um, still sort of, you know, getting a bit of thought into whether to do just acrylic ones. And I've still got the mystery boxes, all guns and bags and all that. But this year I've decided that I'm going to get some stuff together and do a Black Friday event. And it was inspired by the fact that I have some yarn called Black Friday that I bought some time ago and I showed it and people said, if you ever, ever plan to sell that yarn, I'll have it, you know, I'll have it now. And so, and I thought, well, I don't know if I want to sell it, but I've never used it. And it's just sat there in bags, you know, and I think, what is the point? What is the point? So I figured I might as well um, upload some of the other yarns that I've just sat on for a very long time in bags, like Derrimore's yarns. And um, there's all sorts, to be honest with you. There's Emu, there's... Um, Wendy Derrimores and all sorts and there's uh, lots of emu stuff that I've got knocking about but that's not just that some of the yarns that I've got in my shop that um, are coming to kind of an end I might pop in there you know I was in Mishy's live last night and she managed to get hold of some um, Stylecraft Cabaret which has been discontinued for quite some time now and um, loved that yarn as you know and um, I sold it and for quite a long time I sold nothing but that because it was gone everywhere. No, you couldn't get it anywhere. But it seems that there's a couple of places that have um, have stash of it. Whether they found it in their warehouse, come across it and thought, oh my God, look, let's sell this off. But they're not selling it cheap, even though it's a discontinued yarn, which is really bad because it was, I think it was Wool Warehouse and they were selling it for more than I used to sell it for. 
doesn't make any sense and I know you can't get it anymore because I have begged Starcraft to bring it back but they you know to them it was it had its day even though I loved it but the annoying thing for me is I had um, the colour Ocean I had a big pack of it just for me and I got a bit confused and I listed it in my shop and sold it and now I don't have it so I could get it again but I'm a bit loathed to go buy it for more than I used to sell it for you know, that ain't right, is it? Especially as it's a discontinued yarn. As much as I loved it. And the same happened with the Northern Lights, when they discontinued Northern Lights. I found a shop that sold it for a ridiculous amount of money, and I thought, well, no, you know, I, I loved it, and I want that, but I'm not going to do that. You know, just saying. Anyway, enough of profiteering. Profiteering in the yarn. Don't seem fair, does it? Oh well. I guess you know it's like when you go in the supermarket, isn't it? And <laughs> but was <clears throat> we was like walking around the other day, and uh, Gary said that's gone up, and I went, well, we're paying for Christmas, aren't we? He said, what do you mean? I said, we're paying for Christmas because you know they put five p on it now, ten p on it now, twenty p on that, five p on that now and then they can say this is all money off at christmas coming as if you've paid for it now that's that's how they work that's why there's always savings at christmas because you pay for it you pay for it before it's nothing is what it seems you know it really isn't annoying isn't it but that's that is very true suddenly you go in there and you think that, that was only that's actually gone up 50p and it shouldn't have and it's because you're paying for Christmas. You know, when the prices were going up in the shops, they're not anymore. But they are, if you know what I mean. They're not going up because of wars anymore. Or, um, you know, all that troubles. They're going up because they've got to recoup their Christmas losses now and after. Because obviously they've got January sales as well to contend with for things. It's just, you know... I am a cynical person, I'm afraid, and I always see, you know, I do see when they do things like that. I love this. It is just, you know, that'd make a good square. <coughs> mm. Now I'm sidetracked. That would make lovely squares. And then you just sew all the squares together. Oh. Oh. This isn't going to go very far. I have to say. So tell me what you've been doing. Are you all whipping away? Um, what are you making? Are you doing your Christmas stuff? I measured my Boggy Creek blanket that I was going on about and I've still got a fair bit to do. And um, width wise, I need a good nice size border on it to make it a, a real standard Boggy Creek. I know not all Boggy Creek blankets have to be dead on size, but they will not give them a to the kids to take home they'll just keep them there so you know if worse comes to the worst you can still send blankets they'll still get used but they just won't go home with the kids so um well that went a bit spinny so yeah um i can't remember who asked me then then the person's name but hopefully you're watching i've ordered my wall genies and because i've ordered the wall genies i've ordered all those extra spindles and and bases so basically, a, a spindle with this on and a base, I put them together. Most places sell them separately, but I put them together so that when you, you can put them down like that, they're not going to fall over because otherwise it'd be, you know, it doesn't fall over, but it just, it's not sturdy. But I do, I just put them together and sell them as a unit. So you could have, say this ball on, if you're doing two colours, you could have this ball on one spindle this ball on another spindle etc or you could just have a, you know if you had two or three genies you might want to do the same but have extra spindles and bases well i ran out of the spindles and bases before i ran out of the genies so i'm putting an order for them and they will be arriving very soon hopefully and that's cool so um yeah I was going to tell you something then that I probably shouldn't because it's in my Santa sack and it's a surprise, really, isn't it? So, 
basically there are good stuff good things oh it's really i should wear a nose cozy when i crochet with that there are good things in there there are little things in there and then on the 25th there is the big one that's what i've done but that um there are accessories and i don't put if I, if I don't know what the person's craft is i don't put any hooks or needles in but if i know what that person does um then i can obviously put in some crochet hooks or some knitting needles or something along those lines but um if i don't know i don't do and i can't really just assume like i had um an order for some crochet hooks and then i ordered someone ordered a santa sack but that santa sack may not be for that person so if i put hooks in it nick she gives it to a friend who's a knitter that doesn't necessarily kind of equate i mean it probably was for her but you know you know what i mean can't assume in life really I can sometimes make educated guesses but i don't know if that's one of those times it's so soft it's so soft but these tiny little fibers you can't see them it's not like it sheds it doesn't shed but um wow and i have lots of nice colors that made my face explode then lots of nice colors in the um squeeze me by stylecraft i don't really want to burn my burn myself again it's because it's got the lid on I don't know if it's going to cool down enough. These flasky cups, it seems like it's, it stays hot enough to sting for a long while. Possibly wasn't a good idea to bring in the non-spill. <laughs> the non-spill cup, after all. So I am still making the Boggy Creek, but I'm doing that more in front of the TV now. Um, now I know I've actually done the deed and measured it i know i've got to carry on <clears throat> what i should have done oh no I've, I've got one of those yarn ball tape measures with it so um, i can constantly measure it if i want to um but it's nice to work on something else i was getting a bit you <sighs> know again you know so it goes on a bit that one because it's such a i used to if i'd used a bigger yarn it would have been better but i used um a dk so it's gonna it would take forever with that stitch but yeah it's nice to actually get on with something else and um you know come back to it and then i have to re-educate myself now how i made my squares because obviously i i was making those before i went away and i bet you i didn't write them down and if i did write them down i probably won't know where but if i look at them i should be able to figure that out because, you know, it should be easy. I should have done the tutorial for the square before I went. That's what I should have done. But never mind. I've just been so busy lately. Lots of things um, to do and lots of things to catch up on and someone's insurance to do and then this to do and Gary's passport to do. And, you know, they've all been like loads and loads and loads of jobs that have um i've been trying to catch up with so I, once the illness went i've been trying to catch up with loads of things and i've still still got to do my still got to do my tax number and i still have to do stop it that's it don't want it to tangle um yeah still got to do that and i've still got to do my claim but you know and tackle StubHub and uh, what's it called? Ticketmaster. Now Gary wanted to go and see ABBA at the ABBA Arena and we almost booked it. And then when I looked, it was Ticketmaster and I thought, I'm not going through that again. Not doing that. No, no way. I said, well, if we do it, we've got to do it in your name, but I don't want to you know, have any more mishaps with Ticketmaster. That was just a stupid, just a fiasco. A fiasco. 
So I recorded a couple of open with me's today. Um, one of them I told a little joke. Um, yeah, so watch out for those Christmassy ones as well. Always fun to look at. Now I was asked if I'd do the 100, and, 100 Christmas toys to make or something. But um, I haven't found that magazine in the shops. Um, I think I did do one. So if you're watching, go back and have a little look on my previous, because I'm sure I did one not so long ago. If it was the right magazine or not, I, I don't know. But I think I did. Not absolutely sure. So yeah, um, are you going to make any Christmas presents this year? If so, what kind of stuff are you going to make? If that person might read it, you don't have to tell me, obviously, but um, it'd be nice to know what you guys might be making. That would be a brilliant square. If it was a square, it'd be done. Oh, <laughs> it's really annoying up my nose. Very annoying. I've got another message. Oh, bless Gary. Um, so I think I've probably got about half a ball left. So probably that much again. Won't go that far though. Won't make a hole. You know, if it was to be an infinity, not infinity scarf, but a neck warmer or something, it wouldn't make a whole one, I don't think. But I am using, I think, we're going to have to need light for this. Size is the brown one, six millimeter. I don't often use clovers, but it was it was there in my um, when I did the crochet society boxes. I got a few crochet hook holders, and one of them, you just kind of put them in like that, and they will stick up. That doesn't really describe it, but it's got like a a rubbery bottom. And they're all different sizes, so you put it in and it's like a little it's stuck in, like a plant. Anyway, uh, it was in there and I couldn't find any other at the time. And um, so when, everywhere I go in this house, it doesn't matter what room I'm in, I look around and I think, I need to tidy this. Because it's, you know, my stuff is everywhere, I know, but, you know. The front room's not so bad. It's only got now that the postman's been today, all my uh, all but one parcel has gone. Um, one came in a bit too late, but uh, I'll post that maybe tomorrow. So um, yeah, everything has disappeared out of the living room, but it was there just temporarily. But look, you know, everywhere I go, see, I tried yesterday to clear a space in my wardrobe for Christmas presents so that I could, you know, not fall over them. Um, at first I cleared the space and thought, oh, that's so much nicer and so much more room for clothes, but you know, <laughs> I'll need it for, for Christmas presents. But it won't, it won't take them all, unfortunately. It's a very small space. And um, I've been so sorting out in the Yarna van quite a bit um, as I go. But it's a massive job. Quite a large undertaking. It's annoying, isn't it? You feel so much better when you've got when you've decluttered. It really does help, doesn't it? it? Makes you feel so much better in life. Having a good clear out, clearing out the loft, clearing out your life. It's so good. So um and now eBay is uh, free to sell, you know, just saying, I might put a few bits on there, get rid of stuff. Well, I say that, but I never really have the time to sort it out. I mean, I took everything I sell off of eBay to go on holiday because obviously you can't sell stuff and not post it for a week. So, um, or however long we were away. Um, so I took it all off and I've, I even haven't put that back. 
and that wouldn't be that hard. I wouldn't have to go get pictures of it and <clears throat> make a listing up. It's already done. All I've got to do is click relist and uh, I can't even be bothered. Well, not that I can't be bothered, but I find eBay very odd to sell on. I really do. I don't like it so much as a platform. I think it'll be better now, but people are always on there wanting something for a next to nothing. And I find that, you know, I blame people who either, you know, get all those fakes and do them really cheap and stuff like that. It makes people think that that's the going rate for stuff. But who knew? I mean, I ordered that um, Granny Square card set um, a long time ago and it didn't arrive. So um, I cancelled that order and got my money back and I ordered it again. And it should have arrived by now. And I keep seeing that there's a lot of people out there saying that there are fakes. So I'm wondering if the one that was on Amazon that I ordered, why it hasn't arrived is because it might be a fake. Getting exposed. I'm going to check into that. But I've never known anything like it. It's just a, it's just a card set rather than a book. So what's all the fuss about? And what's the bother of faking them? Why? Doesn't make any sense, does it? It's not like um, a high expense item. Do you know what I mean? Crazy. So is it worth the bother? Well, I guess so. If you're um, a criminal or a, a faker sort of thing. There was even one listed on there without a picture on the front. Surely that's not right. You know, it's kind of obvious that it's meant to have a picture on it. Unbelievable, really. So, I've been babbling away for over 40 minutes, guys. Chewing your ear off. Well, I suppose if I... And my tea still isn't... <laughs> still isn't cool enough to drink in this thing. A miracle flask. My face looked terrible then, didn't it? It was gigantic before it exploded. It's still too, still too hot, my God. When are you meant to drink it tomorrow? That's crazy. Crazy. Oh dear, I don't know. So anyway, I hope you like my little stitch markers and my little idea. I was toying with the idea. I used to have some stars. Oh, this is fibre. I used to have some stars. They were just like outlines, you know what I mean? Like um, they weren't filled in. You could, they were just tubes and it was stars. And they were shiny Christmas tree ornaments. And I thought, um, one time I received Christmas presents from um, Martin's uh, ex when she, when they were together. <clears throat> and dangling off of her presents were a little, little bow with one of those stars hanging. And I remember thinking, how cool is that? You know, I, I just put mine on my Christmas tree, but... She had all these like, ideas of how to kind of snazz things up. And it struck me. I could have, you know, I could do that with my my um, Santa sex or my um, 12 Days of Christmas ones. Just dangle things like that off. So watch this space. I might get on with that. But it hasn't grown a great deal. But then at, most of the time I was showing you my stitch markers and stuff. This is going to be extremely warm. It really is. I don't usually work with these colours. But this is lovely. Lovely stuff. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know what this one will work up like. Whether it's the same. It looks the same thickness when I hold them together. They're identical. So it should be just the same. Anyway, I am going to get off and upload this. Oh, you're not going to get it. And um, I can't take the lid off my tea and hope it got, cools down. I, I thought, you know, I'm bringing a water so that when my tea runs out, I've got something to drink. I never even got round to drinking the tea because it was just, it's still too hot. It still burns my tongue. It's going to, it must, when it cools down, it must just go like cold now. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway. Thank you for watching and um, 
I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.